let's talk about editing MIDI in Reason. Uh, I've got some MIDI clips here. I did a few tracks, a few different tracks here, and recorded some MIDI information to use for this video. So let's go ahead and just get started with how you would then edit any information that you have recorded. So first, MIDI is stored in what Reason calls clips. And uh, you've got, I've got a MIDI clip here. This one is MIDI. Uh, these clips actually contain uh, Rex slices, but you can edit these similar to MIDI. In the bottom one, we also have another MIDI clip. Now you have a couple of different ways to access the MIDI notes within these clips. You can double click, or you can just um, hit enter if you just have to be sure that the clip is selected and I'll hit enter. You then escape out of uh, these by hitting escape. You can also hit control E and that will open the editor. And you can hit enter to close. You have a lot of different options for accessing the notes. So um, I'll just hit enter and move into here. When you're editing MIDI for most instruments, you are going to have the piano roll view or key edit view. Over here to the right, if you click this down arrow, you can change the note edit mode. So drum edit, you'd have that if you were, say, uh, working with Kong and editing Kong, MIDI notes for Kong. Rex would be if you're working with, say, the Dr. Octo Rex, and I've got examples of that. So, But just know that you can change these by clicking this area here and choosing a different one. But they're going to default automatically to a certain one based on which instrument you are editing. So with these, I've already got the notes recorded. I use my uh, actually QWERTY keyboard to record these and the on-screen keyboard. You can draw in your own notes manually. So say you're not, you wanted to change this one, you can, uh, you can double click on that and delete it. Double click in another area and add a different note in. And I'll just control Z to get back my original note. You can also drag your notes left or right or up and down. And you do have an option if you don't want the note to be auditioned while you are editing it, moving it around, you can turn that off. So in the edit menu, under preferences, at the very top here, you can turn the trigger notes while editing off if you don't want it to be auditioned. And then if you do want to hear it, you can always come over to the piano keys to the left and audition the sound there or kind of find out where you are working now if you notice here you can you've got these arrows uh, you can resize your MIDI notes with these arrows on either side control Z to get that back and another way that you can move these notes is by holding down control and using your arrow keys. So if I hold control, I'll hit the up arrow. You can see it's moving there. You can move, I'm still holding control, I'll right arrow and left arrow. So when you're holding control and using the right or left arrow, that's going to move based on your snap value. Currently I'm set to 1 8 up here at the top. If I change that, or an eighth note, if I change that to, say, half, 
and hold control and right arrow, you can see it's going to jump by the half. If I change that to bar, control, hold control, right arrow, we're moving by bar. You can also hold control and shift and that will move by beat. Okay. One other way, uh, we just talked about double clicking to add notes. And when you double click to add a note, the note that is created is going, the size of it, the length of it rather, is going to be based on your snap value as well. So it's set to bar. Um, if I change that to eighth notes, then, and double click, then we have eighth notes. And I'll just select those and delete. You can also use the pencil tool by hitting W. I have that. And you can draw in. Q for selection. Select those and delete out. Um, you can also, what I just did there is I have the selection tool, but besides double clicking to add a note, that will be based on your snap value. See, I double clicked and we have the eighth note. I'll delete that. You can double click and hold on that second click and then drag to whatever length that you'd like. If you would like to add another clip to manually draw in these uh, MIDI notes as we were just doing, you can double click on a track and hold on that second clip click and draw in and you can see that kind of jump there that's going to be based on whatever your snap value is as with so many things when you're working in the sequencer so I'll delete that say change that to quarter note you can see our grid changes double click and hold on that second click and drag so now we're moving by quarter note increments when we're drawing that in. You can also hit W and bring up the pencil tool and draw in clips that way, which will also be kind of restricted by whatever you see it snaps there by the quarter notes. If I press I'm a Q, select that, delete it. Um, If I turn the snap off by hitting S, I'll double click and hold on that second click. Now you can draw freely to whichever length you'd like without any restriction based on your snap value. One other thing to be uh, aware of when you are working in the editor and working with MIDI information, you can resize certain aspects of this window here. So at the bottom here, just below, we have our velocity information. You can just hover there and you get a, the double arrow and you can bring up and resize that. You also have uh, these magnifying glasses for zooming in or out. And of course you have the scroll here. And I'll go back to the this top one here. In the very top you have a clip overview area. So if I were to say double click and hold and draw that in, you see you then have that MIDI, that new MIDI note represented in your clip overview arrow or area. So I'll resize that, and you can see that that then changes. This can just help you give an overall view of your entire clip in the arrange view.
Now we have double clicked and created and resized one of the th and and also double click to delete. But just know that you can um, also with the selection tool click and hold and drag select a group of notes and delete those. You also can use the eraser tool by hitting E and click and hold and drag selecting an era, area and delete those out that way. One other thing to be aware of uh, when you are working with editing MIDI is that if I escape out of here the the editor and resize the clip you see we have that MIDI note there that's going to be cut off if I I'm gonna I'll control Z put that back turn my snap back on with S I'm gonna resize this and make it shorter note that we now have these white borders in the corner and those simply let you know that there are MIDI notes that are within this clip that are being cut off since it's been resized. Now if I expand back out you see it goes away. And if we double click the notes that are cut off are going to be displayed in, in blue. And one other thing there is the, an option that you have in the menu so that if I double click and say add a note and escape out you see nothing has changed here we still have these borders letting us know that we have MIDI notes outside of the clip if I come to the edit here actually it's under options keep events in clip while editing that's selected currently so I'll turn that off double click on our MIDI clip I'm gonna draw a new note here actually control Z and undo that um, I'm gonna bring up the pencil tool and draw a note you can see now with that option deselected, the clip then expands to con contain any new notes that I draw in. And that's by having Keep Events in Clip While Editing deselected. Now I'm just going to turn it back on. It's on by default. Come back out. Actually, I want to delete those new notes out of here so I'm just gonna click and hold and delete escape out and resize this when you're working with MIDI um, editing know that you also can use the edit uh, the inspector for uh, certain aspects of the editing. So if I have the clip selected, you can see that it displays the position and the length of the clip. Uh, it's on the second bar. It's eight bars long. If I double click to enter in then and select this clip or MIDI note, you can see we have additional information. It tells you what the note pitch is as well as its velocity. So along with dragging, you can also use these arrow keys to move your MIDI notes. The velocity down below, or this one here, I'll down arrow. And if you take note of this velocity bar there, it will drop down. You can also double click and manually put a value in. One other feature of the inspector is if you select several notes, you then have these equal signs, um, their match value uh, signs. If you'd like, say, for the all of these to be the same length, 
instead of going in and manually adjusting each one, you can select them all. Then click on the match values button, and then they're all the same length. If you would like for them to be all the same pitch, click on the match value. Now it will do these adjustments based on whichever one you selected first or whichever one is in the front. So I'll control Z, control Z. So I will select this first, hold control and select that. Now if I say want them to be the same pitch and hit the match value, it will drop the second one that I selected down. Okay. So just know that when you are editing MIDI, you can also use some of these functions in the inspector to adjust some of the notes. So this is in bar four. You can change this. I'll just put six in. You can see it then jumps to bar six on top of the other one that was there. I'll control Z. So just something to be aware of that you have that option to do some editing within the inspector when you're working with MIDI. If you would like to duplicate notes, it's just as simple as selecting a note and you can hit control D. You can also hold control and drag to create an extra note. You can also right click, copy, I'll just control V. So you have several options there. Control Z to get rid of that. And you know, you can select a group of notes. And uh, I'll control C for copy, control V, and now you have those duplicated. I'll control Z to undo. Uh, another way is to simply select them and just as we did before, hit Control D, and then you've got them duplicated. Of course, we don't want them on top of the other ones, but just know that you have that available to you. When you are recording MIDI, just to briefly mention, or actually with quantization, you can do it on recording by selecting this button, and that will quantize your notes to whatever the quantize value is set to while you're recording. But you can also hit the quantize button here to quantize notes. And I'm going to move these. Just so we can... And I'm going to change the quantize value to... maybe quarter. And move them a bit more. So while they're selected, I'll hit quantize. And you can see that there was some movement there. I'll control Z and do that again. Okay. Now you can do this with individual notes. Uh, you can do it as we just did with a group of selected notes, or if I escape out, you can select an entire clip or several clips. Holding control, I can select all of those and then hit quantize, and it will then quantize the mini notes within all of these clips. So I did mention before uh, the, the Dr. Octorex and how if you double click on a clip for that instrument, you're then going to get the Rex editor. So this is a, just an example of that. And here you're, you would be working with Rex slices. It's just as similar to uh, working with the MIDI notes. You can do all you know the same functions in moving, dragging changing locations, resizing. 
And as you can see here, if we double click where we were before, you're now in the Rex edit. If I escape out and come up to where the Kong kit is and double click here, we are now in the drum edit view. So just know that it's going to change based on those, what sort of instrument you're working with. But most of them, most of them will be in this key edit mode, most of the instruments you're working with. And just know the, the velocity down here at the bottom, this can be adjusted by hitting W and using your pencil tool. If I hold down control while the pencil tool is active, you get this uh, these crosshairs and you can click and hold to create a velocity ramp. Just another quick feature I wanted to mention. So I think we'll stop here. That That's a lot of information and at this point, hopefully you feel comfortable with uh, editing MIDI in the recent editor. Thanks for watching.